things I wish I knew before before moving out. <laughs> guys welcome back to another video on the channel and you don't know i'm here to talk so guys you know as a young girl you know me get my first job and if if you live a senti you know say like job out to get a senti so maybe i could go um mobi or whatever so I had to move to Montego Bay and I never have nobody to tell me say I needed this and I should not do that. I need to have a list and so forth. You understand? And it was a lesson, a lesson well learned because I learned so much things. So that's why I'm sharing a few tips with you guys. So first, before leaving out, you need to have a checklist. Worse, when you're working with a budget, best to have a checklist. So guys, you're not gonna just move in an in a studio flat and say you're gonna buy just uh, you need free jam and uh, uh, all them something like that so the best when you have everything written down you know say all right i'm gonna need this i'm gonna need that but some of us like starting out just leave high school get your first job whenever i have no money to buy like fridge and all them shit there. so <laughs> we had to start from scratch and it wasn't easy it wasn't easy but you know as i go along i learned how to spend my money wisely and all them something so it's <laughs> it's gonna be hard guys if you decide it's time for you to get a job in another parish and you know so you have to go leave home it's gonna be hard so guys, when me they just get, I didn't buy like a just a just a, I just get two basket, one for my dirty clothes, one for my clean clothes. I got some hanger, um, a iron. I never have no iron boards. So I have to end up iron pan bed. Okay, and I didn't have a fridge at first because you know I'm just start so. I just a bed and oh I had a bed I buy a two burner and a cylinder and you know so them time there I you have to start pay a light bill you have light bill to pay um water bill and plus your rent plus you have to buy grocery um bus fare to go work so it's like you know all those responsibilities just is on me like me now have no parents i give no lunch money and them something and i didn't want to buy much things because you know it's it was my first job and i never know if i wa i wanted to stay a minute minute i never know if you know, being working there, um, I would be comfortable enough. So, I said, I'm going buy no things because I don't know if I'm going to move again. So, I just keep it low. And then, I started working a few months after my buying the fridge. And guys, you know what I did? I didn't, like, have lunch money. What I do is buy um as much as much grocery and buy some lunch fun and i had a nice professional lunch kit and guys i just cook if i have an evening shift i cook in the morning and if i have a late shift i cook from the evening 
you know so it just teaches me how to spend my money wisely and it's been a great experience so for you guys who hasn't started as yet and you know you have to do it because it's best to do because you know most of we want to be independent we know i live we live of our parents in the first world so you know so guys it's best to have a list um you know budget auditing and it's best to have um about three months friend in advance because you know when you just start work you're gonna have training for i think about three months some job some job it's three months so yeah um if you even go online to go look a place to rent or i just want a friend to tell you remember say if you see 24,000 for rent a month time remember that the first month you have to do a deposit so there's no say the first rent is gonna be 48 so any amount you see you replace our info the first month double guys it will be an experience that you will never forget in your life because you know going to high school i appear in a year lunch when you have them someday you know have no hope you think about say oh rent, rent due tomorrow or next week so you know just as you go you will learn have fun guys i hope you do enjoy this video and do stay tuned for more